the lip to the nesting boxes, in my opinion, was not tall enough. It was only a one by. So I added that dark brown one above it. So now there's uh, more, more of a lip there. So you see, there's only this little, what, one and a half inches? I'm like, no. My other, uh, my other nesting boxes on the other coop is at least this tall. So I added that in there. So now uh, when they scratch, hopefully not as much will get in here. I also had, to, had put these walls here because these nesting boxes are not as uh, wide from here to there. So when they sit in here, they're like face to face practically. <laughs> Man, so I had this wall here. So I don't know. I still might put it in there just like this. And instead of vertical, just, it's just a little bit of a privacy from box to box. So I might do that. I might. I might not. I haven't been successful with the deep litter method. So I thought, well, I'm going to give it a shot again, sort of. I'm at least going to give it a go until I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> Which will probably be like next month. And then I'll take out, take it out, and put it in the compost bin and start it over. I don't know. Some people are really successful at it. Um, as soon as it starts to smell, you know, that ammonia smell, and I'm like, no. But I think my problem is, is I don't continually add material to it, you know. And I, I mix it. So I don't know. Are you not supposed to mix it? Are you supposed to just like... I, I heard you're supposed to put in like three or four inches, let them poop on it for a couple of weeks and then cover that. And I have a really hard time not covering it like immediately or mixing it in immediately because I'm completely crazy. Don't tell Michael. We were going to possibly buy a new extension cord and I was like, you know what? I have all these cords. So what I, did was go ahead and clip a few of the bars on the, um, the hardware mesh, hardware cloth, and I just put this right in there. So that's the only adjustment that I've made. This one is powering my timer remote for this light down here and this light here. So now in the morning, I can have it come on or I can turn it on from the house because it has like a hundred foot range. It's perfect. Uh, I don't add supplemental light. Uh, I did last year and I'm not going to this year. I don't know if that's one of the reasons they didn't all molt. Probably not, but I do like to be able to turn this on though in the morning, like when they first come out or, or if I do want them to come out. Like, you guys need to wake up, you know? I can go ahead and turn the light on. One of the things I've learned is you don't really want the supplemental light at night because if you have it on and then it suddenly goes out, see what, they, see what I mean? Now, of course, she's a little skittish. Then they, you know, they might get stuck on the ground and not able to perch. <laughs> So if you are using supplemental light, you want to bring it on in the morning. Isn't that right? Yeah, turn it on in the morning, sweetie. I put this in here like this. And now I can just come around. Bam. And I love it. The other end is attached to this eye hook that we put in for the, uh, the, sun, the sun sail. So I have it folded twice. It's kind of nice. It's just, it's just perfect the way I have this hanging here. See how that is? So I just, I have it clipped there and I just keep, I unfold it twice and it's perfecto. Shut up. Ba -ba <laughs> All right, so there it is. So I just fold it over twice to bring it back and then I just unfold it and there it is. And then I usually clasp it here 
and then I'll clasp it down there if it gets windy. I am experimenting with a jungle gem of sorts. Not in there, but over here. So my plan was to have that board covering the tire over winter, just to keep it from getting soppy wet and in case they do want to do a dirt bath out here. And so then I thought, you know, it'd be fun if I had something for them to play on because when winter gets here, they won't be able to go out in the yard much. They've kind of gone through this area, but you know, they haven't done anything with it yet. And I'm not totally surprised in the winter they would, because this would be like the only area they could get to. Ugh. Phoenix. Seriously, is this your jungle gym?